Hey guys, my name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing some DIY patriotic decor with you using a mostly Dollar Tree supplies to keep this decor affordable as well as fun and easy to make. I really hope that you enjoy the video and if you do, please remember to give me a big thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and join the fun. If you do that, remember to hit that bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload. And without further ado, let's jump right into the DIYs. So for this first one, I'm going to share how I made this red, white, and blue berry wreath with Dollar Tree supplies. Begin with the Dollar Tree foam wreath form and eight of these five piece berry picks from Dollar Tree. Also a Dollar Tree roll of burlap. I glued the end of the burlap down on top of my foam wreath and then I wrapped this entire wreath with the burlap. Once I was done, I trimmed off the excess and glued my end down. Now I did play around with this for a little while to find the best way to get these berry picks to go through the burlap and also through the foam. So I kind of tried just poking the end of the pick down and then I realized that the ends were so long that I could double them over and then make a hole right through the burlap and the foam with my scissor and stick the stem down in that hole. Then I found that I could even add a little dab of hot glue if necessary on top of that hole just to get a good hold. And these do have some type of wire inside of the stems so you can twist and bend them as necessary to get them to go the direction in which you want. So I just kind of alternated my colors and I have them all going in the same direction for a neat and organized look. This is such an easy wreath. And I think it's so beautiful. It only cost us around $10 as we used eight berry picks. I feel like you could probably get away with using seven though. And then that some wreath form and the roll of burlap, although you could use any ribbon or fabric that you have in your stash. I then took a small strip of burlap that I had left over, folded it over to form a loop, glued my loop down on the back of my wreath form, and that way I have a cute matching hanger. Then I just finished up my wreath by adding as many berries as I wanted, and here is what it looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. I am usually a bow person, but this wreath is so pretty. I don't even feel like it needs a bow and it just has the perfect look to it, I think. Okay, moving into our next DIY, which is very simple but very adorable. You will need three of these crates from Dollar Tree. You can get some with slats or some that do not have slats. I have plaster, ocean, and Marlowe chalk paints. Actually, I'm sorry, that is a lacquer chalk paint. I'm going to paint one in each color. Here you see, so I have my red, white, and blue representatives. And then I'm just going to take the red and blue and I'm going to glue them them together with hot glue end to end. Then I am going to put some hot glue where they meet and also on either side of where they meet. And I am just going to stack my plaster box, which represents my white, right on top and press it down firmly until it is dry. Then I'm going to go ahead and lightly dry brush over the whole thing with my plaster chalk paint and a little stencil brush from Dollar Tree. So here we're just about three 75. I don't usually count the cost of paint, but this project is going to be under $5 as well. I have these stars from Hobby Lobby. They were about $3 for the package, but I'm not using the whole package and they were 40% off. And also I'm showing you a Dollar Tree option that you could use those little foam stars. Now I'm just going to take six of these stars and I believe there was about 12 or 13 in there so just about a dollar's worth of those stars I'm guessing and I'm going to take a long skewer stick from Dollar Tree that comes several to a pack and just cut it down and stick it into my stars then I'm just taking a little piece of foam I had on my stash cutting it up and putting it into my crates. I will then stick my stars that are on sticks into that foam and just use some greenery that I had in my stash to fill it up. So about a dollar's worth of greenery, about a dollar's worth of stars, and then your three crates. I'm just estimating here, but 
very close to $5. And again, you could use those Dollar Tree foam stars if you wanted and use any greenery you had in your stash to create this very cute but very simple little decor piece. Okay, let's talk about today's challenge. It is Patriotic DIYs for Memorial Day and 4th of July. Our host is Chantel over at The Crafty Hints. The co-host is Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY and myself. Every first of the month, I do a collaboration with these ladies. They are super talented. I always enjoy working with them, and I will have their, their channels linked in my description box, as well as the playlist, so that you can get tons of patriotic inspiration. And we're on to the next DIY, which is inspired by Whiskey and Wit, who made similar bells to these. Now, these little pots come from Dollar Tree. They come three to a pack, so this will be well under $5. I am just going to make a little hole in each of the bottom of my pots using my hot glue gun and just turning it in a circle until I get the desired hole that I want on the bottom of this pot. I am doing that so I can just put some rope through it. Now I'm going to paint both of my pots with a generous color of Waverly plaster chalk paint. Then I'm just freehanding some red stripes with that lacquer color on one of my pots and I don't want it to be perfect. I want it to look really whimsical. If you did want it perfect or cleaner looking lines, you could just use some painter's tape and then apply your stripes. However, if you did that, I definitely would Mod Podge first so you don't rip up your plaster paint. Once I get my lines down, I am going to go over this whole thing with a light dry brushing of plaster paint just to kind of bl blend in the color. Oh my goodness, sorry about that. Blend in the color and dull it down a little bit. So for my other pot, I am going to take some more stars that I printed out on my Cricut, but again, Dollar Tree has stickers or you could use a stencil. I'm going to put them down on top of this little pot. I'm going to paint the pot with ocean chalk paint and then just peel off my little stars using this little Cricut tool. And then I have my red striped pot and I also have my blue and white stars pot. I'm gonna go over that one with my stencil brush and Waverly plaster chalk paint as well. Then I'm just going to take a piece of wired jute twine from Dollar Tree, form a loop, and then wrap the ends around themselves at the bottom of my loop. I will then pinch my loop together and shove it up that hole through the bottom of the pot, and the little knot I made at the bottom of this loop will hold it into place. Now, if any of your twine starts coming off of the wire, you can just put it back in place with a tiny dab of hot glue, and then here is the loop at the top of your Freedom bell and here is what they look like so easy to make so inexpensive and i just love the way they look okay on to the next idea where i will show you these adorable little usa signs using dollar tree triangular shaped shadow boxes a dollar tree usa hanger and the scrapbook paper from a scrapbook kit that i purchased 50 percent off at hobby lobby i'm going to be using the stripe paper and also the star paper i am going to trace two of my triangular shapes onto my stripe paper and one onto my star paper and cut them out here is the paper that I'm going to have and now I am just going to go ahead and use my Elmer's glue stick to smooth all of my pages down on top of the boxes and then when all three of them are prepared I can begin to work on my letters. I do go ahead and sand around the edges of these signs just to give them a clean and a little bit of a distressed look. Here is what we have and now we're going to take those letters and we're going to pull them off of that burlap. Now they are stapled on and the staples may fly everywhere so please be careful. Then I'm going to take a 150 grit sandpaper and I'm going to sand off as much as this glitter as I can. Once that is done I'm going to paint these letters. I'm going to use the Waverly Red for the U, the Waverly Plaster for the S, and the Waverly Ocean for the A. Once they are painted I'm going to use hot glue to glue them down. I am going to glue my U on top of my little star box and the S and the A on top of the striped boxes. 
Once I get them all glued down, I will then take some Dollar Tree twine and I'll put a little dab on the side of each one of these little box signs and I will wrap my twine around several times just to add a little bit of interest and just kind of fancy it up a little bit. Once that is done with all three of these, you then have a really nice statement piece that can be displayed a couple of different ways. You can spread them out and have them all side by side like this USA or you can put the U and the A closer together and have the S kind of out front. I think that looks cute as well. Here is what that looks like. Very easy, very inexpensive Dollar Tree DIY. And we are moving into the next Dollar Tree DIY where I'm going to show you how I made this large tag sign for a front door. I actually give it to my neighbor, but I have these Dollar Tree window clings, some Dollar Tree wallpaper, my scrapbook paper I've been using, and these two large Dollar Tree tags. They are quite large. So I began by moving the tag and twine off the top, taking my Dollar Tree wallpaper that I was so excited and blessed to finally find, and tracing one of the tags on top of it, cutting it out, and applying my wallpaper to the back side of this tag. I'll sand around the edge again and then I'll just figure out how I want it with my other tag. I'm going to glue it down. Now you could put your paper on this other tag first before gluing it down but for me I was trying to preserve paper as I did want to use up some scraps that I had so I glued it down first and then I just kind of held my paper up to it and measured out where I needed to cut. I want I wanted the top half of my paper to be this striped paper and then I wanted the bottom half to be stars. So I am just going to use a couple of scraps and I'm just going to make sure that they align up. Now the top does not have to be perfect because I know that I'm going to be using a bow there. So again just figuring out where I need to cut and gluing this scrap of paper down with the Dollar Tree glue stick, smoothing it out. And then again I am going to do the bottom half here with some of this beautiful star paper and once that is done I can go ahead and glue it down and my tags are all ready to decorate. Again I was so excited to find this Dollar Tree wallpaper so keep your eye out in your store if you haven't seen it yet. Now these adorable Dollar Tree window clings I'm going to take the truck and I'm going to generously coat the back of it with hot glue. Then I'm going to place it down to where the larger part of the truck is on my wallpapered tag and just the end of it is on the other tag. I'm going to push it down, smooth it down, get out all those little air bubbles there and then I'm going to add a couple more of these window clings that I like with my glue stick. This little land of the free, home of the brave, some stars and then this cute little USA. I just trimmed the corner off so it fits neatly on that tag. Now I'm going to Mod Podge over everything thing with special attention to modging mod podging oh my goodness mod podging over my window clings and again you guys this sign was so adorable now I left this clip in because I thought it was so funny my ribbon was like double wrapped around this little um ribbon spool I just thought it was really funny this is from Dollar Tree this pretty burlap star ribbon I am forming one of my little expos here I'm going to cut off the excess and tie it tightly in the middle so a cute inexpensive sign. I actually gave this to my neighbor who promptly hung it on her front door. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So tying this tightly in the middle and as I always say the tighter you tie your bow the more you can fluff it out and once that is done I can go ahead and use some hot glue to attach this beautiful bow to my sign. I like to kind of attach it um, right in the middle where those two tags meet. So just removing the excess fluffing it up. Um, this is not wire driven. I do usually prefer wire driven but this ribbon was so stiff it actually worked out pretty well and I was thrilled to find it at Dollar Tree. So here is attaching it with some hot glue right in the middle like I said and that covers up that little space that I did not cover with scrapbook 
paper. So here's what that looks like. Now I have the star scatter that I purchased at Hobby Lobby 40% off. I'll be using it in other projects in another video, but I did steal one little star from it and glue it in the middle of my bow. Dollar Tree does have some little star scatter that you could use, table scatter, um, to put in the middle of your bow as well. So I really hope that you guys like this tag sign and enjoyed it. Now this next DIY takes a little bit longer to do, but it is adorable. All American Treats, 25 cents. So I'm going to take these three boards from Dollar Tree, about a dollar 25 each. Now I use these wood planks because that's what I had on hand. But if you have popsicle sticks on hand, that would make this a lot cheaper. So this is going to be about a little over $4 to make this sign the way I made it. But you can make it cheaper if you use popsicle sticks. I just cut the bunny off each sign, lay them side by side, and glued down these pieces of wood to hold them together. I have actually used this in a previous project as well. So this is the second use for this sign. So once my sign is prepared, I'm going to coat it with Waverly Plaster Chalk paint and I'm just kind of doing a very light coat here kind of a messy coat here's what that looks like it looks a little distressed now I'm going to use this cone from Dollar Tree and I'm not counting the price of this cone because I'm not actually using the cone I'm just tracing around it three times onto this sign so the cone can be used for another project I'm just tracing it out in pencil going on the top and then the middle and then the bottom kind of pointing in different directions. I'm going to fill these cones in. So this really doesn't cost us anything at all. So it's about 4 to $5 for this very easy, very large statement piece. So now I'm going to take a popsicle stick and use it to trace out the little lines on my cone. Just going in one direction and then flipping my popsicle stick over and tracing in the other direction. Of course, I'm going to follow this same process on all three of my cones and the good thing about using a pencil is if you make any mistakes you can go ahead and erase them and just redraw so here is what it looks like so far with my little rough sketch and then I'm going to paint in all three of the ice creams with Waverly Plaster Chalk Paint as my base. I'm going to do something different on each cone, but I wanted a nice base of this Waverly Plaster. So I'm just giving it a nice heavy coat so you can see the difference between the background and this coat of paint. So here's what that looks like. And then for the top one, I'm going to use my popsicle stick to create lines all the way across my little ice cream starting in the middle and then just going outward on either side and I am going to use this as my red and white striped ice cream using the plaster chalk paint and also that lacquer color so here's what that looks like and I'm just going to go ahead and paint in every other stripe with the lacquer and then I'll just leave every other stripe that plaster color and that will serve as my red and white stripes for this ice cream so just going ahead and filling those in with a small little detail brush I don't do a lot of freehand painting on my channels so I was really proud of this project now for the next one I'm just showing you I'm going to fill in the bottom with that lacquer color and then I'm going to paint the top with the ocean blue and leave the middle with that plaster color now for my third one I'm going to apply some tiny stars that I printed off on my Cricut but you could use any tiny star you have or if you have a stencil and then I'm going to paint over it with that ocean color by Waverly and then I'm just going to pick those little stars off. I also printed out All American Treats 25 cents and I'm using that as a stencil as well. I just place it down and I paint over it with that ocean color chalk paint but Dollar Tree does have some stickers or ribbon transfers if you want to use them. Now I'm just using a paint marker that I had in my stash to trace out my cones. I'm going to go fairly dark on this because I'm going to be painting over it with a mixture of Waverly plaster and a teeny tiny bit of Waverly antique wax in it to give me a light brown color as I did not have one on hand. So I'm just kind of dulling down those lines. Then I'm also using that color to dry brush over my All American Treats and I'm going to use the same color, the little mixture of plaster and 
antique wax to go over each one of my ice creams and then I'm just going to lightly dry brush my cones with the Waverly antique wax itself just to give me a little bit of color difference and dimension if you get a little bit too much you can wipe it off with a paper towel or a baby wipe I also go around those little edges there with that Waverly antique wax as well and here is my all-american treat sign I wanted it to look like an old sign for outside of an ice cream shop I just thought this came out so adorable and it was really fun and inexpensive to create I really had a blast with this one okay moving into the next one which is perfect if you have kiddos um, and you want to decorate a covered porch or for a party. So I have a Dollar Tree sign. I have this one Dollar Tree star garland that was nine feet long and a hula hoop. So we have about three Dollar Tree items and then some window clings. So four Dollar Tree items. We're going to stay right around our four to five dollar mark. I'm just cutting apart the star garland. And again, it was an amazing deal at nine feet long. Then I'm taking this Dollar Tree wood plank and I'm just gluing it to my hula hoop with some hot glue. Now once that is done, I'm going to paint this sign with some apple barrel blue paint. Once that is done, I'm going to begin to alternate my felt stars gluing them down onto my hula hoop. Now you will want to use a low temperature glue or some other type of glue to glue these down on your hula hoop. You will not want to use high temp as it will melt and make a mess, but low temp worked very well. So I just did my solid color stars, kind of catty corner, and then I started filling in with these double layer stars for some dimension. I just filled all over this hula hoop. Now I am going to be using this on a covered porch or inside but if there's a chance that it may get damp you definitely want to spray it with some kind of never wet or something like that for protection but I just thought this was super cute for kiddos or like I said for a party I just go ahead and glue all of these down easy peasy all the way around just for reference, this is the smaller hula hoop. If you wanted a larger one, you would need two of these star garlands. So I'm going to cover up that little cutout in my plank with a blue star. It kind of matches the color of paint that I had here, which was Admiral Blue, by the way. And once I get all of my stars done, then I'm going to go ahead and take these little window clings. I am going to use a glue stick to apply them. And I'm going to apply a Happy Fourth of July in the middle. And I'm going to apply a popsicle stick on one side and or a popsicle on one side and an ice cream on the other with this hot glue the reason I have the background blue is because I'm using that blue star and also because the background of these window clings is a blue color and I just thought that would look nicer I also use this glue stick to apply the little stars that were on those window clings right on top of some of my felt stars just for a little extra detail and dimension glue stick doesn't stick too well to those felt stars so I do go over that with Mod Podge when I Mod Podge over this board to hold on my window clings. So once everything is in position then I'm going to Mod Podge over the little stars on my felt stars and this board. Here's what it looks like. Please excuse that little glare on the 4th of July but that is not like that in person it's just because it was on my porch but so cute easy and fun to make. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and got lots of patriotic inspiration. Please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and I'm going to give you a preview of everything we made today. Take care friends. Here's a beautiful red, white, and blue berry wreath as well as our stacked crates with the stars and eucalyptus and our liberty bells which I think are so adorable. Here's our little USA signs that can be arranged in different ways and our land of the brave tag sign as well as our hand-painted ice cream sign for all American treats at 25 cents and our huge happy 4th of July wreath. I really appreciate all your love and support. Thank you so much for being such an amazing community. You can support me by watching my videos by giving me a thumbs up. I also have a buy me a coffee link in my description box, which is absolutely optional. I appreciate any way that you choose to support me and it is all felt 100%. So thank you so much for being amazing. I hope that everyone has a great week. Stay safe and I will see you soon, friend.
like and subscribe to my mom's channel. And thank you for watching today's craft and stay safe.